creating the perfect racing pigeon loft. Hey there, pigeon enthusiasts. No matter where you're located or how your loft is shaped and sized, there are some key things your loft needs to provide for your feathered friends. 1. Sunshine by day. Pigeons are like us, they thrive with a little sunshine in their lives. It's amazing how a bright, sunny day can lift their spirits and keep them healthy. On those sunny days, pigeons look like they're on top of the world, all perked up and full of energy. Apart from the feel-good factor, direct sunlight is a vitamin D booster. It's essential for their bones, feathers, and overall reproductive health. But there's more to it, sunlight seems to work wonders on their metabolism and immune system. Pigeons just seem so much stronger when they soak up that sunshine. That's why it's a great idea to make sure every pigeon in your loft can bask in the sun's rays. The easiest way to do this? An elevated flight area. 2. Cozy nights. Nights should be about rest and security for your pigeons. A safe place where they can snuggle up without a worry in the world. Creating this perfect nighttime haven is a game changer. It rewards you with a happier and healthier flock, and trust us, your race results will thank you too. Both breeding and race lofts should be like pigeon paradise, they need to shield your birds from moisture, extreme temperatures, too little or too much air movement, predators, noise, fumes, light, and anything else that could disturb their beauty sleep. Proper rest is non-negotiable for pigeon health and winning races. The breeding loft. When it comes to breeding, simplicity is the name of the game. You see, breeding happens during the warmer months, so there's no need for complicated setups. At night, your love birds comfortably nest in their cozy boxes, and during the day, they and their fluffy chicks get to enjoy the healthy goodness of direct sunlight in a spacious open flight area. Fresh air circulation is improved, and your loft stays dry, making breeding a breeze. Breeding is a breeze because your birds aren't exposed to the harsh realities of the outside world that race pigeons face. The race loft. Racing pigeons are the true athletes, facing more challenges and needing more rest to stay in top form. That's why a race loft is a bit more complex. Nighttime in the race loft is crucial. Conditions have to be just right. No sudden swings in humidity and temperature. Awesome ventilation, fresh, not stuffy air, with no drafts or dust. Keep the numbers in check no overcrowding. Dry as a bone, no dampness allowed. And cleanliness is next to pigeon nests. Temperature and humidity control. Racing pigeons thrive when it's not too hot or too cold, between 10 degrees Celsius and 30 degrees Celsius is the sweet spot. Humidity should stay below 65%. These are the ideal conditions, known as the pigeon's comfort zone. In most lofts, it's humidity, more than temperature, that determines if your birds get a good night's rest. High humidity, over 65%, and chilly temps below 15 degrees Celsius spell trouble. Pigeons lose form and become prone to illness without proper rest. Ventilation. Fresh air is a must. Open style lofts in low humidity areas need minimal extra ventilation, just vents on the back and sides. But if you're in a high humidity zone with an enclosed loft, you've got some work to do. Make sure to open up during the day and close it up at night. And don't forget to check the air quality, it should be as fresh as a daisy. Pigeon population control. Overcrowding is a no-no. It leads to squabbles, restlessness, and stale air. When you reduce numbers, watch how even healthy droppings return to their nutty brown selves. The magic number is around 25 pigeons per 6x6x6 loft. Loft moisture watch. Keep things dry, wet floors are a pigeon's worst enemy. Dampness can lead to coccidiosis, and that's no fun. If you're cleaning the loft with water, Pick a warm day or let it dry while your pigeons enjoy their outdoor exercise. Concrete slabs aren't ideal for race lofts, but if you use them under elevated flights, make sure they drain and dry quickly. A clean loft is a happy loft. Pigeons love cleanliness. They rest better when their perches and floors are spick and span. Sand looks cool, but it's not recommended during chilly racing seasons. Pigeons might overindulge and end up with a gut ache. Fresh, clean, and dust-free straw is a better choice. Say no to moldy straw, it's bad news for their air sacs. Cleaning schedule. Cleanliness is next to pigeon nests. A cleaning schedule is a must, ideally twice a day during racing season. It's like having your pigeons on a wellness plan. Early detection is your superpower, spotting changes in droppings means early intervention. Rest, water treatments, meds, loft heaters, you name it, you're on top of it. Loft design should make scraping a breeze. Smooth floors and accessible perches are your cleaning buddies. Loft placement. Let the sun shine in. Position your loft where it gets as much sunlight as possible during the racing season. 
In Australia, a northwestern to northeastern orientation is a winner because the sun moves northward during the racing months. Lofts need that sunshine boost. And keep them away from pesky trees, fences, and give them a little elevation. Pigeon comfort zone. Happy pigeons are relaxed pigeons. They should be able to lounge around during the day and night, wings hanging loose. Smaller compartments are cozier, and pigeons are tamer in such spaces. Ideal dimensions? About 6 inches higher than you, 6 feet deep, and 5 feet wide. Loft material magic. In high humidity areas, lining your loft with masonite or wood is a smart move. They're better insulators than metal. Wood floors, like form ply or marine ply, are the go-to choice for racing lofts. They're cozy, insulating, and easy to clean. Wire floors are cool in dry places and during breeding season but keep them in check for fungus and bugs. Follow these tips, and your racing pigeon loft will be the ultimate haven for your beloved birds. There are many reasons to buy my racing pigeon method. Here are some of the best reasons. You will get excellent results, it's a very simple system to use, it's affordable, I have had over 400 first prize winners, it's adaptable to any situation. You can use it with any racing method, natural, widowhood, young birds, it's a very effective method. There is no need to spend a lot of money on fancy pigeon products, it's a reliable system and it is foolproof to use. Professional athletes, race horses, take the same products, there is science behind this not just hearsay, it is all to do with red blood cells and oxygen in the blood, without that a pigeon will not race well, or an athlete will not win a race, if he has low oxygen in his blood, the above is fact and is 100% science. There are a few things you can do to improve your chances of winning at racing pigeons. One of the most important things is to learn as much as you can about the sport. You'll need to know the different types of pigeons, how to train them, and how to race them. Another key factor is practice. You'll need to be able to fly your pigeons competently in order to win races. And, of course, you'll need to have the funds to invest in racing pigeons and other racing equipment.